Aber die Christen heute beten ihn an. So gibt es heute Buddhisten, die Buddha anbeten, obwohl er nie gesagt hat, man soll ihn anbeten. Er sagt, es gibt heute Buddhisten, die sagen, wir glauben nicht an Gott. Die sagen, Buddhismus hat nichts mit Gott zu tun. Und Buddha hat niemals gesagt, ja, es hat damit nichts zu tun, also Gautama Buddha. Ja, und er sagt halt, ob er jetzt ein Prophet war, Allahu A'lam. Er sagt, dass der Prophet, a.s. schon gesagt hat, in einem Hadith, dass es also so und so viel, über 100.000 Propheten gibt, ja. Und dass, äh, dass die also zu verschiedenen Nationen gekommen sind. Und im Koran werden halt einige mit Namen genannt. Aber es wird auch dem Propheten erwähnt, dass es andere Propheten gibt, die ihm nicht mit Namen genannt werden. Und es könnte halt sein, dass hier diese Botschaft auch wie bei Jesus beispielsweise, bei Isa a.s., dass die Botschaft halt vor, 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 also vor, verdeckt wurde. Nur wir können es natürlich, natürlich jetzt äh, nicht nachprüfen, weil es wurde nirgendwo offenbart, Gautama Buddha heißt halt äh, ein, ein Prophet oder irgendetwas. Ja. Lastly, just to be, yeah, to, because uh, I, I promise our brothers it may be half an hour, 40 minutes, And then we may have an open session later on, inshallah. Now, if you look into, through my experience, I'm, sh I'm sharing with you what I have gone through. Yeah? Not more than that. The, the objective, uh, I mean, the, what Guatama Buddha is trying to teach his people, his disciple, is to attain from nafsul ammar bisu to nafsul lawama, and you end in nafsul mutma'inna. Because when you attain nafsul mutma'inna, like what Allah said, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna, irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan marudiyya, fadkhuli fi ibadi wa adkhulu jannati. When you have attained nafsul mutma'inna, now to do that, that's why they have the training process in purifying yourself, your soul, your mind. Your seeing, your speech, your hearing, everything. Now he is teaching his people, like what Allah said to us: "Ya yuhalazina amanu, udkhulu fi silmi kafa, wala tatabi ukhutu wa shaytan. Innu, innu lakum adu mubin." If you want to enter Islam, you must enter Islam totally. Your heart, your mind, your eye, your ear, your mouth, your hand. Your leg, everything must be Islamized. You cannot just, I want to be Muslim, name. I want to name Muslim name. How about your heart? Heart is between me and God. No. I want to be a Muslim. How your eye? Your eye, you should make it a Muslim eye. A Muslim eye is a person who uses his eye to look at Allah's creation, to look what is halal, anything that is haram. He will stay away. Whoever believes in Allah in the day of judgment, you want to say anything, make sure you say what is good or silent is golden, is better. Everything. So this is what uh, the, the main teaching of Gautama is to bring every of his disciples to fight against your inner nafs, the bad nafs that we know, nafsul ammara bisu, where Allah talk about this nafs. And then he said, you move to make a hijrah, the nafsul lawama, and the end, nafsul mutma'inna. When you attain nafsul mutma'inna, in Buddhism they say, you have attained nirwana. That means you have achieved nafsul mutma'inna. Also er hat dann auch noch eine Sache verglichen von einer Lehre, die wir auch im Islam kennen. Das hat, das Ähnliches findet er auch dort, diese Lehre. Erstmal die Nafs die das Böse, Amaratum Bisu, die das Böse gebietet, dann soll man seine Seele äh, so im Islam halt äh, reinigen, dass man zur Nefs Lawama, das heißt, die sich selber tadelt, hin, hinkommt, ja, und danach zur Nefs Mutma'inne, also die die Ruhe sozusagen gefunden hat. Diese Sache wird halt im Buddhismus Nirvana genannt und er sagt, ja, dass wir äh, deswegen als Muslim uns diese Reinigung, die soll dazu führen, dass alles an uns Muslim ist. Deine Augen, die gucken dorthin, die schauen sich die Schöpfung von Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an, um darüber nachzudenken. Deine Ohren, die hören zu Dingen, die dir Nutzen bringen. Das heißt, alles was du machst, sagt, sagt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala im Koran. Das heißt, tretet komplett in die Religion ein, mit allem. Ja? So, fellow brothers, and maybe there are some sisters yeah, with us tonight. 
we hope that insha'Allah, and there's no benefit of course for you to go and look into the teaching of Gautama Buddha today, because what is written in the Dharma today is not what is being mentioned by Gautama anyhow. It's been next. Uh, there's a lot of bidah and qurafat in what is written in the book now. The same goes to the Bible today, there's a lot of qurafat and bidah. The same goes to the Muslim today, you have a lot of qurafat and bidah. Every religion gone through the process of you know, qurafat and bidah. So it's very important for us as Muslim now, we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we still have the pure guidance of Allah, the Quran. There is not been changed from the day it was revealed. It is still intact. Not even one verse was you know, changed or altered or omitted. Everything is intact. Now, if I want to be a good Buddhist, I cannot be a good Buddhist anymore because it is so, there are so many changes in the teaching of Gautama now. No one knows what is the real teaching of Gautama Buddha anymore. The same thing goes to Jesus. But we Muslim, we have been blessed by Allah. You have the Quran, there's intact, and you have the Hadith, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, where you don't have to refer to any other books anymore. But still, until today, I feel very strained. Yeah, if a, 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 a good Buddhist wants to be a real Buddhist, a pure Buddhist, he can't be anymore. Because the teaching is not more pure. A good a Christian, or they say they want to follow the teaching of Jesus, they cannot anymore. Because the pure Bible is no more there. Now, if a person wants to be a Muslim, it's so easy. The pure teaching of Islam exists until today. But why the Muslim until today still live you know, so far away from the pure teaching of Islam? Why when the Muslim, when they say something, when they want to do something, they do not refer it back to what Allah and the Prophet said? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةٍ إِذَا قَدَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ عَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونَ لَهُمْ الْقِيَارَةُ مِنْ عَمْرِهِمْ وَمَا يَحْسِ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ دَلَّ دَلَالَ مُبِينَ A true believer, male or female, if Allah and the Prophet have decided something for you, when Allah has made a decision and the Prophet has said something, do this, there is final. You cannot say to Somebody who tell you what Allah and the Prophet say is okay. I know this is called Allah. I know this is from the Hadith, but you know I want to ask my Sheikh. You know I want to ask my Imam and see what he say. If my Imam say it is okay, that one no problem. You know, you know of course it's not been done in the time of the Prophet, but this is bid'ah uh, hasana malishna nauzubillah. What is going on? Whoever do that. Allah said, فَقَدْ دَلَّ دَلَّ مُبِينَ You are no more in the right way. Now the Muslim, if they turn away from the real teacher of Islam, they are the worst people. Why? Because the pure teacher of Islam still exists until today. I feel very proud. I feel very blessed. Because if I want to, I, have, I was a Christian before. If I want to be a real follower of Jesus, I can't be anymore. Because you do not know what is written in the Bible today. Most of the Bible talk about Mark, Matthew, Leo, and John, and also Paul. Who are these people? You know? You ask them, where is the word of God? They do not know. Where is the word of Jesus? They also do not know. At least we in the, the Muslim, we have the Quran. It's Kalam Allah. Nothing from Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Everything Kalam Allah. When the Prophet said, it's in the Hadith, not in the Quran. You see, we are so blessed. We have these two. Like what the Prophet said, Taraktu fika amran, lan tadillu ma tamaksaktum bihi, bihima, amran bayinan kitab Allah wa sunnatu rasul. I have nothing to leave behind except two. If you hold fast to these two, this clear sign, you will never, never turn astray. This is the promise from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's so sad. So said that what the Prophet warned us is very, very true. The Prophet said, Man ya ishmin kum ba'di 